Hi everyone, it's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue. And today, in keeping with our paper flowers um, video series, I am going to show you how to make this beautiful um, hydrangea pot um, that it's actually, this is a file that is available in Cricut Design Space. I want to tell you though, it is not part of Cricut Access. It's something you would have to purchase. It's a small fee. I think it's under $3. It's a very large file and makes um, a number of of actual products that you could separate and and that's what we're going to do today i'm going to show you just some of the pieces of this entire file because it really is a very big one um, so stay tuned and i will show you how to put this together so today as i mentioned we're going to be making this really adorable hydrangea pot um, i love how the folks at Dreaming Tree sort of tackled the issue of a hydrangea. A hydrangea is really just a big old puffball full of all these wonderful little flowers. And um, it makes it a little difficult to make these on a stem. So instead, the folks over there, uh, Leo and Ron um, and Diane, I think, they... Uh, created these little pots. Now I mentioned that it is part, this pot is part of a larger um, file and the file is in Cricut Design Space. However, it is not free even if you have Cricut access. It's the kind of thing that you will need to pay for. Um, it is part of a larger group of, of um, files um, and it is specifically designed for uh, working with Cricut but um, you can also purchase this on their website at 3dsvg.com. So I I'm going to break this down into basically two steps. The first step is the the pot okay or the uh, that's what I call it a pot. Basically the pot is just um, it's just a paper pot that's been cut out and you would just cut this out. Um, it comes in a piece like this and you see it's scored, uh, very simply scored. And what you're going to do is you're going to glue this on its, on its side here. I'm gonna make sure I get this in the camera, okay. So you're gonna glue it closed on the side and it's best to do that on a flat surface, okay? So you do that and then it pops out because you've gone ahead and scored all the pieces. And then um, we would glue these tabs. And close it up like that and you're gonna do it with much more precision I know and I'm just doing it just to show you um, the different the, you know just how to put it together one thing that I would um, suggest to you that I didn't do on camera is um, the file comes with these edges that that give the the pot a little bit more um distinction and i would suggest you do what i did here which is to glue those um facing pieces on before you open it up and and um, create the 3d file it just makes it um all that much easier and make sure that you attach these uh pieces properly and they don't curl okay now the top of the pot is simply just, yes, another piece of paper um, that is scored, it's cut out and it's got kind of a doily effect. And this here is, you just, you're going to fold it and put a little bit glue, a little bit of glue on those edges and hold it together until that glue sticks. And you're gonna do that on all four sides right until you have the cover the lid right 
so it's a little optical illusion there because you're not putting anything inside of that. And here's a tip. Um, you don't always have to use an entire file. When you get a file, um, you might just like one certain portion of it. And I've done that a lot with uh, the Dreaming Tree files. I might just like, this particular one comes with uh, three pots and a tray. And I didn't really like the tray. So for me, I just never made the tray par. Well, I did make it once, but but after I, when I started making these, I just did the individual pots and gave them away like that. It was just enough for me. But uh, for a mother, really fabulous Mother's Day gift, um, you could make all three with the tray, but you have that option because you don't have to cut out everything. So the next part after we've put together our pot is creating the hydrangea um, portion. Now, this is created by using a styrofoam ball I personally prefer these smooth styrofoam balls the to this, you know, the regular styrofoam balls that you might find um, if, you you know, just the quickie ones that you might find at a regular craft store. I like the smooth ones. They seem to hold the flowers um, better. But if you had to, you could work with this. Um, no problem, you know. So, so if you can't find these go with these you still need them I cut them in half and you see I didn't do a super tremendous job in cutting them in half that's okay um, to cut them in half you're going to use just a regular kitchen knife um, my um, advice would be to use a serrated knife and to try to get that halfway point and don't have to worry too much about it being incredibly incredibly um, even at the bottom because what you're going to do is you're going to take these leaves and glue it to the bottom of um, the styrofoam so you're not even going to see that edge and then this whole piece will get put on top of the pot oops so to create the actual flower head, um, the the file includes all of these, all of these. Uh, let me show you one that is not that this is the way that they would cut out. So, um, if you really look at a hydrangea flower, you'll see that it has most of them, and there are different variations, of course, but most of them are like a four petal flower, and they do have a really tiny stamen inside <coughs> excuse me um and so when you cut these out you'll see that there's like oh I don't know about 30 of them for in each color um and again here's where you can get personal you can cut these out the whatever color you'd like this one here is in pink okay um but I've done this in purple I've done this in blue I've done it in um in a deeper blue, that's fine too. So what you're going to do is using these pearl headed pins. Again, this is also a find um, that I found at a sewing store. I think it was Joann's, I'm not really sure. If I find out what where exactly I got them, I will put that in uh, the detail page, okay? So basically, this, is, um, this part of the project is completely no sew. And you're going to take after you work the petals to give it a, give them a little bit of more, you know, a 3D look. You're going to put in a pin inside of that hole, and then you're going to start pushing with the pin each flower into um, into your star half of a styrofoam ball, and you're going to want to. Let me make sure this is on camera. You're going to want to make sure that your flowers are, you, you know, the little petal part of your flowers are really close together. Like this. And almost so that the leaves are kind of sticking out. That is just simply to prevent seeing um, the styrofoam ball through 
through the uh, through the flowers. But so you're gonna really pack them on there. I'd say about 30 of them fit on the the half of a styrofoam ball. This is really soothing part of the project, and I guess the thing I really like about it is that it doesn't require that you use the glue gun. And as you know, I'm not a big fan of glue guns. So um, this is what you end up with. Isn't that beautiful? And as I mentioned, what you're going to do is you're going to attach this leaf and then put it on top of the pot. Isn't that just lovely? It's such a beautiful project. And I do hope that you try it, even though it is, um, it is something that you would have to pay for, a couple dollars for, because it really is a fun project to try. It's got a real wow factor to it as well. Did you enjoy making this with me today? I hope so. Um, isn't it great? I really love those guys over at 3dsvg.com or Dreaming Tree. Leo and his group are just fabulous, fabulous um, designers. And really, um, this is sort of an introduction to his work or to the work of, of that company. Um, and I'd like to, going forward, I'd like to share with you some um, other designers that I have found um, to, to show you just how flexible and how innovative some people have made using Cricut um, and Cricut Design Space software to create some pretty amazing things. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. If, if you are already a subscriber, share it. Share it with a friend that you know would um, be interested in learning about how to make these kinds of things um, and how they can bring a little more beauty into their world because that's really what we're doing here is um, we're just making life a little bit more beautiful. So thanks for stopping by today. Um, I really appreciate your um, continued support and I will continue to provide you. I, I'm endeavoring to provide you with even more wonderful uh, projects that you can make with your Cricut machine. So thank you very much. I hope you have a wonderful day.